Hi. Bye. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Bearded Gamer, and today we'll be playing the game Saint Kotar, the Yellow Mask. So, how long has it been? It's been what, like eight months? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Real life happened. Moving into a new house, taking care of the baby, and all that. So, limited time, limited energy. Uh, I will try to slowly get back into it with the content creation, but for now. Even if it happens, it's going to be a little bit slow, but I'll, I'll try my best, I promise. So this game, I was sent this uh, CD key, the serial key, for Steam for the prologue of this game. It hasn't been released yet. This is not the full game. The game is set to be released in August 2021. All right, so let's uh, take a look at it. Apparently, it's some sort of... I believe in God. Point and click game. God Fast is my start. shepherd. I lack nothing. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. What is this place? I have no memory of it. Ooh. I feel guilty. I did something horrible, but I can't remember what it is. I can't remember my life at all. I need help and I must seek forgiveness. Okay. Use left mouse button to examine, interact, talk to, pick up, and walk to. Use right mouse button to examine and walk to. Ah. So the right mouse button is just part of what the left mouse button does. Okay. Refer to help in the menu for more details. So, okay. That sounds good. Oh, there we go. All right, yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's do the obvious thing first, right? I did not, I thought this was a first person game at first. I can't. Right. It's stuck, someone's holding it from the inside. May I come in? All I seek is help and forgiveness. That voice. I recognize it. Okay, so we can't get inside. Something about this church. <clears throat> I think I've already visited it numerous times in the past, but I don't have any memory to support that thought. <laughs> I love how he overanalyzes everything that he explains to us. Yeah, so I've read about a this. silent cathedral of tall trees. Its gaze gives me a crippling sense of dread. Huh? Yeah, we want to go there though. So you wanna? Oh wait, wait. It was so there was something else there. No, there wasn't. So I read that everything that this guy does, he talks for too long, and he takes a few seconds after he finishes each that. Oh. A symbol of Christ's eternal love for all humanity. And therefore, if you do any of the ten sins, he will send you to hell, will you burn for eternity. A silent cathedral of tall trees. Its gaze gives me a crippling sense of dread. Uh-huh. Can I, oh, oh, there we go. Yep, all right. I'm not capable of taking that path. Why not? It's right, you, it's right there. All you need to do is just walk towards it. Why are you not capable? Uh, I'm not capable of taking oh that Oh my path. god, I hate you. No, you it can't budge. It Father, won't. can you let me on the doorstep of the blessed house? You have not set your mind on the things of... I right. know I did something horrible. I can feel it. But every... I beg you, have mercy. Let me... Yes, 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 yes. Something's appearing on the stones. Oh, so we needed to do it twice? Okay. Oh, wait, what? Wait, wait, where? On, oh, graves. Ooh, let's see. Petra Donani, 1943 to 1997. Forgive me, mother. I barely remember you. Oh, it's his mother. It reads, Yosef Donani, 1935 to 199... The year of his death is missing. I can't remember what happened to you. Father, can you... Forgive me. Your mind was infected by your corrupted soul. 
Shame on you, unrighteous creature. What did we do to deserve this? Hmm. My mind may be roaming in the shadows, but my soul is still pure. Let me talk to him. You don't have a soul anymore, son. Look inside. What do you see? Guilt and sorrow. If you had stayed true to the faith, nothing sinful would have ever happened. I've never abandoned faith. The true faith... What is true faith? I know you taught me what it is, but I can't remember. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't remember anything from the past. A long time ago, you've made a fateful decision to abandon God. There shall be no grace for you. <laughs> I never abandoned God. Let me pass, let me understand what... Enough! No words will ever open that door again for you. Maybe it's a crowbar a will then. To what you've been reduced to, Benedek. A corrupted soul is like a bottomless black pit. It nourishes a false faith. You have been eternally banished from his house. But forgiveness is what he can give, even in the darkest of places. Uh, Accept your burden! What? That makes no sense. So he will forgive us at some point or something, but that we have been eternally banished from his house. I accept your Bible, Father. It is my burden now. Now walk to the other side of the valley until you reach the place of torment <laughs> and sorrow. Okay, will do. That is my punishment, to dwell eternally in such a place. You've already been punished. For your sins you have been cursed. Who cursed me? God did this to me? Deeds cannot be undone, but can be forgiven. If you truly repent and want to be absolved in his eye, you must go and save your bloodline's last soul. I don't understand. I'm the last of my bloodline. Everyone else is dead. Fallacy. Now leave. Act before the time has passed. Wait, I'm begging you. Such a wimp. Who's the last soul? Father? Father! Answer me! Into your hands I commend my fate like I always did. I don't know who I am looking for, but I need to act quickly and find that poor soul before it's too late. For both of us. A lot of talking, my friend. Oh, if you double click, he runs. Okay, that's cool. There we go. Let's walk towards eternal torment or whatever. Oh, oh, wow. It does look pretty the cool. The path to redemption. Or hell. The end. This is the place. Not a single soul is alive here. I may be late. <laughs> I may be late? This is not a place where you want to be alive. There's something on one of the cadaver's neck. A necklace, it seems. Obviously. We need to pick up... There we go. Oh, oh. It's a rosary. Still intact. Some initials are carved on the cross. B. D. B. D. Bad. B and D. Demon. I can't recall. I'm struggling, but there's something about it that... Oh. Ho oh, ho. Unknown being. Who are you? What do you want? Mm -hmm. In the name of God, 
Answer me, or be gone! Victoria... My Show name yourself. is Benedict. Victoria... Is that the other person who's still alive? Like a child, probably, or something. Victoria? That's a freaky she looking had the face. Rosary. My rosary. Those initials are mine. This is my sister. My bloodline's last soul. Sister. Dead in front of my eyes. You killed my sister, Feet! May God drown you in the lake of fire! Burn eternally amid shrieks and groans of pain and despair! So, yeah, still stuff going the fire. on. fire. Okay. So, yeah, I will agree with some of the comments that I read on Steam from the reviews. The dialogue situation, I get it. It's a point and click, so you need dialogue to clarify what's going on and then all the details and everything. But it's slow. I mean... The fiend said something that he like slowly looked to his right and moved around and then said something and it's slow. You know, make it quick. I can click through the dialogue, but at the same time I feel like it would be much better if every time you click on something and there's something that he needs to say, one-liners, you know? I remember playing point and click games in the past and I wouldn't get bored of them because they were one-liners a bunch of dead bodies oh look at it's the eye the evil eye oh look it's a cadaver hugging hugging a tree a fiend okay not that simplistic obviously gives some information but at the same time the fire the screaming the smell of burned flesh i remember now I executed them all, torched them alive in the name of God for acts of heresy. Mm -hmm. So he was a murderer. And I killed Victoria, the last of my bloodline too. But I still can't remember nothing before or after this act, nothing at all. It's like I'm seeing someone else's memory. Save my sister's soul. Punish me! My sins! My sins! My sins! Eternal torment and sorrow is all I want! No, no, it's not. Eternal means never ending, literally. Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, for there are sins that lead to hell. What a drama queen, God. Oh, so he was having a nightmare, but I hear I hear some zombie noises. My, my eyes, I can't see. I can't see. Wear your glasses, at all. dude. My, my eyes are fine. It's, it's just go. that I don't, oh, I don't have my glasses on. That dream, the church from my hometown, the graves of my parents, the crucified cadavers, and God in the form of an eye. How do you know it was God? It was the most terrible dream I've ever had. That wasn't me. That's not who I am, God. You know me. Hmm. So this guy was having a nightmare about how he killed people, including his sister, which was the last person in his bloodline, but it didn't happen? I'm a little bit confused. I remember everything from my past. I've never sinned. I've never 
being forbidden to enter a church. I remember everything from my past. Why did I read it I've before? Never sinned. Okay, never mind. I've never been forbidden to enter a church. I know what true faith is. I'm obedient only to you, God. It's what I want. It's how my father taught me to be. My father, who one day just disappeared from our lives, shattering my mother's will to live. My father, who gave me his Bible the day before he left our family. Something's on the floor. Glasses? Please. Oh. Please let it be the glasses. I'm so distressed. How was I supposed to find anything without them? Victoria may have been killed by my hand inside the nightmare, but she did something even more terrible to me outside of it. She dragged me to this town and made me stay in this living tomb of a house that tried to taint me while I was sleeping. No, it didn't try to taint me. It tried to to curse me. Yes, to curse my soul. I was told in the nightmare that I was cursed. It must have been my mind which was trying to warn me I was being cursed by the house or by the town as a whole. I don't know, both, I guess. I'm still in peril here. I should leave at once, but I can't. I can't leave without my Bible and I can't leave alone. Not without my, my bloodline's last soul by my side. Are you done? I'm afraid to press on things because he's just, he's just going to go on a 10-minute talk to himself situation talking about useless information that no one needs ever. Let's go upstairs. I can't see my Bible in these shadows. I hate I just you so much! Victoria must have taken it from me while I was asleep and then placed it somewhere upstairs. It is strange. Did you really have to say all these things before going? Just go upstairs. Pointless dialogue. Maybe, maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe people who play. The hell? S someone. Who's there? Victoria? It doesn't sound like Victoria. Nikolai? Uh, okay. Where's my Bible? Again, there's a big pauses. I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Where is she? Under the blanket. Come closer. Wake her up. Oh, that's not freaky at all. Oh boy. Is there a light switch? The bed's empty. Where is she? What do you believe in, Benedict? Where's my sister? I need to see her. She took my Bible away from me. Answer me first. Besides God, what do you believe in? <laughs> I believe life should be spent in solitude. Where Ultimate like introvert. Cannot arise. See, I believe life is pointless without a family. We don't exist if we don't belong to someone else except God. Family, Benedict. Without a family, life cannot exist. You made that clear enough when you abandoned priesthood to marry my sister. That was a sacrifice I believed had to be made. As of today, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not following. Either am I. Hurry up, speak up. Why the delay? Oh, he was getting up. I can barely Family see him. Family members don't hurt each other. It's wrong. Don't you agree? All right, friends. I'm going to start skipping through the dialogue because it's just a little... You know, Victoria talk. hurt you? You did. What are you talking about? The things you suggested to her yesterday on the train. I beg your pardon? I didn't say a word to her, to you. What about calling me an addict? 
Hmm, but well, well, I didn't turn right. That I did say, but what have I done? I didn't turn... Of course she did. When she's the one who gave me the morphine months ago, she did what she did, what family's supposed to do. She helped her husband. Morphine now, is it's your turn, Benedict. Just a really strong painkiller, right? Will you help me? Am I wrong? Yeah, I probably am. I'm sorry. Help you with what? I, I I want that too. I want So where is she? What's going on? You think I'm a degenerate? Have I imagined hearing your voices? Who? Uh, that was just me. She's not dead. How many times I called your names before hearing them? I screamed when I woke up. Well, I'm living the nightmare right now. Don't lie to me. I talked to God, and I talked to myself, and then I came here. Is that true? Because the real problem I have is that the two of you emptied my whole bag while I was asleep. Now that he mentioned his bag, where's mine? I didn't see it though. Just give me my morph. Man. <laughs> Instead of accusing me, perhaps you should search in that bag. I did that. And I scoured the whole floor several times already. Maybe it was you. You think I'm a thief? I wanna let him search. Go on me. then. Search me. Yeah, bring it. I Boy. believe you can be anything you want. As long as it... But you're not stupid. You wouldn't risk being caught. Maybe it's time for me to start questioning my belonging to this family. Why? I already told you she's not there. You stay Don't here. Who the anxious. hell do you think you are? If she is, I'll make her talk and give me my pills back. Oh, the animations need if some she's work. Not, I'll find them by myself. In any case, I'll call you once I'm done. Maybe they had a quarrel and she left before I woke up. I don't trust him. Whatever the truth is. Remember what I asked you? Have you seen my Bible? I don't understand. You want my help now? <laughs> People say I don't have a keen eye for details. Okay, so that was long, boring conversation. It wasn't boring, you know. We learned some interesting stuff. Oh, light, please. Not ideal. But much better. Yes, indeed. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> yeah. I can't breathe. It smells so sickening. Look for the Bible and shut up. Okay, let's uh, talk to so. this guy. Obviously, your wife's not here, Nikolai. She must have sneaked out while Benedict was holding you upstairs. And now you're supposed to go after her, right? Perhaps she has your pills. But just look. Oh, now we're playing as Nikolai. Doesn't he sound like that mayor guy from Family Guy? Mayor Adam West. Right? I may be stupid. I may be a loser. And then that was it. That was funny. That was funny. Shut up. Ooh, dolls. Let's check for Looks the pills like the there. Has, eh, these dolls are nothing special. You should definitely take one of them for your. Hmm. The horned one or the crowned one? Horned Bad one sounds choice. good. The image of... Fascinating. What do we have here? Ooh -hoo. A small brain. And it's not just any bag. It's Benedict's. Oh, things are happening. Uh, it loaded, so now we can go downstairs and kick his ass for finding our bag. I haven't checked the whole floor yet. My <sighs> You're so annoying. Wait, wait. Let's. Is there help? No, I, I was, I was thinking of a hint, but you know. Quick save in game menu. Highlight interact. Oh come on! Uh, I hate myself right now. Sculpture, okay. 
done this, done this, wall painting. So I, I knew it. I knew there was a key there. I would... Uh, but I just didn't manage to hover over it. Oh, for crying out loud. And what does this unlock? This door, I guess? The door is locked. Oh, maybe, maybe it's for the cabinet. Yep. Oh, so annoying. There we go. Appalling. A heap of dead. Dead what? Faster. Faster. Rats. Damned rats. Is there Bible there? That's the important question, my friend. Please. Stop wasting time. It's Pick up the pace. Victoria! Oh. Nikolai, what's happening? Did he leave? I'd better check. Who keeps a heap of dissected frog? The owner of this house. This should be obvious by now. That's my bag. How did it get on? Do you want to get a doll as well? Something's amiss here. Yeah, he touched them all right. <laughs> okay, stick. I don't need it. Well, why is it an option to click it then? Stop Not Nikolai. before I search my. Oh, come on. Did we have to click on it a second time for you to search it? For crying out loud. The inside is all wet, slimy. My Rose Nikolai must have known the whole time where my bag was. He has my Bible as well. Or it's Victoria who has it. I, I didn't turn her against him. Maybe it's all part of a wicked plot against me. All she had to do was drag me to this place. And now they are just pulling the strings. They make me sleep in this house. They take my Bible and hide my bag. She disappears. Well. And now he's doing the same. Did you find Nikolai anything? Nikolai is trying to disappear. Okay, you checked your bag. Let's get out. What is that? Is that a person? Nikolai! There he is. What was he doing? I was checking something. Really? On the ground, between the leaves, and behind the... Who's there? Who is there? <sighs> Calm down. Why are you doing this? Benedict, listen to me. No, I've listened to your lies in the house. Now you should listen to me. All right. I'm all ears. It's clear to me that what the two of you are doing goes way back, months before this damn journey. What are you talking about? Let me explain. Where's my Bible? <laughs> Again with this question. You must have lost it somewhere. I don't want a new one. I want exactly that, and no one else except me is allowed to carry it, or even just touch it. I know. Calm down. How would you describe this? Well... It what is a random Lord, question after isn't it? the energy that's To whom? Uh, the gem in guys. the mountains were her words. That's how Victoria tried to convince me to go on this journey with the... And when I refused, what did she do? She went to my superior, Father Imre, and claimed Sveti Kotar is a work of God. She convinced him, so I had to go. But I never believed those words. And God knows I was right to do so. We all saw the truth. You mean the ritual on the square? I found it. This journey, this house, the disappearances, it's all part of your... A plot against you. The story is looking very interesting. And the backgrounds, the backdrops, and the animations and everything, especially considering it's in... This, this is like a pre-release alpha or something like that. It's pretty good. 
the only negative part about it till now is the dialogue it's like long and there's big pauses between each part of the dialogue etc so it does slowly become boring even though the story is interesting and the graphics are great i love it i love it how i love how it looks look at this place this is a this is a windows background for sure so this is what this journey is all about. You want it to look crazy, put me in a mental so institution. You got it all wrong. Calm down. Wrong? You knew the whole time where my bag was. Did Victoria hide my Bible there and then you just grabbed it on your way out? I found something slimy in my bag. Did you... Benedict. And where is she? Is she hiding in the woods? Do you know? Of course you do. She must have told you that I... So why is she hiding from me? Because she knows I can't leave without her, and this just prolongs the agony, and that's exactly what's going on here. You want to torment me as long as you can. So what do you do to be sure I won't leave on my own? But you know, before we left, I made her swear I on mean, our parents' graves that she talking. would have to take me back to Budapest immediately. So no, I'm not crazy. Are the two of you done with me now? Does she need to- <sighs> You certainly made a point here. I wouldn't say you're crazy. Also, it doesn't give you uh, like a moment to pause or save the game and exit. For example, right now, I was going to say, okay, guys, this is it. Let's end up the video here or something. But now I have to go through all the dialogue and etc. You expect me to believe you after everything that has happened. We were robbed, Benedict. When I woke up, my first thought was that you and Victoria stole all my stuff. Then I went down and found your bag behind the dolls. Unlike my own. So I was right. Victoria put the Bible inside and you- No. The only things I found in there are a pen, a rosary, and this. Oh, Those wow. Those human eyes? You're the one who's crazy. 30 pig's eyes inside a pig's bowel. Horrible. This is insane. He's lying. And now that he's come closer. I believe it's what the perpetrator left to mock us. And who's supposed the owner of the tavern? Why would a man who waited a whole day just to give us the keys of the house do such a thing? And why would he take everything but my rosary and a pen? I guess because it's the same man who left a dozen of pig's eyes in your bag. I don't know where he got this bowel, but this story is ridiculous. So how do you explain Victoria's missing bag then? If that man robbed us without taking our bags, where Maybe is her? Maybe she took it with her. Maybe Victoria took it with <laughs> her. Wow, I can predict the future. I noticed that the blanket... Confess, Victoria didn't sleep at all last night. She took her time to do everything you plotted together. Enough with this crazy idea that oh, this wow. is all about you! I don't know where Victoria is. When I woke up... She wasn't there. Oh, wow, this the guy's smell angry. On Nikolai, I just realized it's the same odor of the wardrobe upstairs. I'm going to get all of our stuff back. Don't. What? Wait, no. Is he going to meet her in town? Or perhaps she's hiding in the woods and waiting for me to leave. What should I do? I options, have to options. I need my morphine. I'm going with. Think about your sister. We can leave a note. What about your butt? That's what I've been asking you from the moment you saw me today. Where? So, you really don't have it. For God's sake, no. Well then, you're saved by the grace of that thief. If he didn't steal my pills, I would have never found your Bible. It's in the so cabinet you upstairs. Have it. And relax. I didn't touch it. We checked the cabinet. I swear. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you found it after I went downstairs. You should have said something. It's not there. He's if that is the us. truth, if it's really there, you desecrated it by leaving it among those carcasses. That pile is the only place I didn't search. I have to be sure he's not lying this time. Benedict, don't make me wait too long. It's fine. Don't worry about it okay so that's gonna be it for now guys the this is the game saint kotar or something the yellow mask this is a pre-release version of the game this will be released in august 2021 this is now it's august 2020 so in one year's time if it works out and everything goes to plan it looks very nice okay 
the story is interesting and weird and dark and I like it. The dialogue, it depends on so many things. For example, there's people who just love like slow paced games and they like to read every, listen to every single bit of dialogue and get into the story as much as they can. People like that will love this game. From what I'm seeing, looks good. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's dark. I like it. But other than that, most people, in my humble opinion, will get really bored with the whole, I press on one thing, he says something. Oh, look at this vase. Pause for five seconds. Its bottom is flat. You know, something like that. It's it's not always useful as useless information like what I just said, but they could they could shorten it a little bit, make sure the dialogue's just like as soon as one ends, the other one starts, and uh, the music, by the way, the ambience in the background is weird and scary. I like it, and uh, so yeah, they could shorten up for non-important things like the portrait or whatever. You could just click on it and give us you know one sentence something. So we know what it is for, but it depicts it's there. a pale, bald man with a very long, white or even yellow beard. The even yellow beard. Okay, again, I don't write games. I'm not a professional in, you know, what would sound nicer if the character said it. But they could do without the uh, even yellow part beard. I mean, it's it doesn't help. It just prolongs the sentence. So, yeah, that, those are my thoughts on the game so far. It is interesting, depending on my mood when it re when it's released. If I'm looking for a point-and-click game, I might look into it, especially if I have more free time uh, at more normal hours and not late at night. This would be a game that I would like to check out and listen to all the dialogues because the voice acting is actually pretty good, let's be fair. It's decent voice acting. The graphics are nice. The story is interesting. I'm repeating myself. But other than that, the only the negative, in my opinion, is the long dialogues and the uh, delays between the dialogues. Obviously, these are things that will be worked on within the next year because it's still in development. So I hope that everything will be fixed. And if everything works out and they release this game in the end, and it's a completed bugless version of the game, it will be a very, very, it's, it, it looks like it could be one of the good point and click games because I've played a lot of point and click games and they're not all as interesting as this one. It is interesting. I'll, I'll give it that. I find it very fast. I find it interesting. and I will look into it when it's released. But anyway, that's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. This is the Bearded Gamer. Over and out.